Hey growers, my name is Halia Eastburn. I'm a carnivorous plant researcher and the lab manager here at Carnivoro. Today we're going to be talking about Nepenthes anatomy. Here is the entire Nepenthes plant. We have the main stem, the leaf, petiole, and the modified leaf portion called a pitcher. And the pitcher has been highly modified to capture prey anywhere from insects, feces, and even leaf litter. Every pitcher has a lid, a peristome. The pitcher itself is made up of two different regions. This portion here often houses a waxy texture and um, some downward pointing hairs that trap insects um, and help to retain them within the pitcher. And then the second half of the pitcher is going to be filled with a digestive fluid that is both often viscous and elastic and helps to um, consume and trap uh, prey items. Nepenthes are vining plants and they have a lot of pitcher diversity between their upper and lower pitchers. Immature plants are mostly going to produce these uh, lower pitchers which are characterized by an extended ladder and these enable insects to climb up into the pitcher. They often also have a different peristome shape and color um, because they are catching different prey items. Upper pitchers are going to be without the ladder and they are also going to be different color and have a different peristome shape to capture often flying insects. Other pitchers such as this macrophylla have a thick wax covering on the back side and inside of the pitcher and these wax crystals are actually very brittle and as the insect tries to climb out of the pitcher they break off and the insect falls back into the fluid. Many of the Nepenthes species don't use the typical strategies for capturing prey. For example, Nepenthes aristolocoides works like a lobster trap. The small opening captures prey and then light coming in through the model background. They're confused by the light that comes in through this modeling pattern and they get stuck within the pitcher. Well, Nepenthes pitchers are still developing and before they have opened completely and are ready for prey capture, they begin to fill up with their digestive fluid. Here you can actually see the opening. These digestive fluids are enzymes and proteins that a lot of non-carnivorous plants already make and have. But in carnivorous plants, they've been requisitioned for prey capture um, and nutrient absorption. As the prey items break down in the fluid here in the pitcher, there are specialized cells all along the pitcher walls that help to absorb these nutrients. Thanks for tuning in for our video on Nepenthes anatomy. I hope that whether or not you're growing Nepenthes right now, you learned something new and you'll have a little more fun growing them.